yes guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Henry Wade and often on Instagram I get asked how I get my hair cut and styled. So that's exactly what I'm doing in today's video. My 2021 haircut and style done by the team at Parloose Barbers on Fleet Street in St Paul's London. So if you're after a new hairstyle or not getting what you want from your regular barber then here's exactly what I ask for and get done when in what I like to call the hot seat. Enjoy guys. been a regular with these guys ever since they opened so they know how to cut my hair but I'll discuss what I get done and why as we go through this video so every time you sit in the seat you aren't panicking throughout your visit and not getting the cut you hoped for. We've all been there. Firstly guys don't be afraid of being extra specific or extra sassy. You are paying for a service so don't be afraid of going all out to explain every little detail on how you like your haircut. The more information you give to the barber, the better job and better understanding he or she has with your hair. I always get my hair washed prior to my treatment. This gives the barber a better understanding of where my natural hairline is, so it makes it easier to cut. It also removes any of the products I currently have in, which may get in the way when cutting. So gents, if you use a thick product, make sure your barber washes your hair prior to your cut. It's essential. If they start with the top, be sure and specific on how much you want off. Always ask for less or more. Top tip, it always is more than you think, so I tend to ask for a touch less. I always ask for scissors. I explain I have really thick hair and fine hair. I ask for the sides to be blended, but with a lower fade and just a slight trim off the top. I show him exactly where my parting is and then we go from there. You may seem fussy, but barbers prefer it this way. They want you to return, so they'll want to give you exactly what you want. And when you're there guys, have a chat with your barber. The one reason why I love this place is because it's very personable. With every visit, they want to know how I am, how the new flat is, and remember so many fine details since I last came in. They even have my favorite sparkling water and a Turkish coffee waiting for me on my arrival. Now, that's a good barber shop to go to. As my hair is thick, they will occasionally use these thinning scissors on my hair. You may have come across them. I usually get this on the sides and avoid it on the top as I prefer the fuller look, but it's a tool to be aware of if you're wanting to thin out the hair a touch. There are tools to make it thin, lads, but nothing to make it thick, so consider thick hair a good thing. Now with my hair done and blended to perfection, I always ask for that touch extra. If I'm not getting my eyebrows waxed, I ask them to gently trim them. This gives them a nice shape. Don't be afraid of asking for this. It will improve your overall look. No girls are attracted to long and bushy eyebrows chaps. So trust me, get them done. I then get my stubble taken care of. I usually have this blended too. So on the sides, I go from a one down to a four and then the chin and the upper lip is slightly longer. But your barber is your best friend when it comes to shaping the beard correctly. They have a better view than you do. So definitely worth getting it done properly every so often so you have that perfect neckline. I really enjoy getting the full works here. Not only am I receiving a haircut, I get a mini spa, spa treatment too, and I love that. Having a haircut should be something you look forward to, lads. A little spa and relaxation for you every month will do the mind wonders. So don't overlook your barbershop for this extra experience. 
and we're on to the final touches guys one final wash to remove any other remaining hair residue and then also put some aftershave over the face and neck to avoid some ingrown hairs that may come after shaving Now then, with a good blow dry and some product in the hair, we're almost there. If you guys want to know exactly what products and how I exactly style my hair properly when I'm at home on my own, drop a comment down in the comments box below. I'd love to do that video for you guys. That's only if you want it. But guys, there it is. That's my haircut for this year. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button right down there. But guys, for now, until next time, peace.